All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review, this time of the Sin Cut Chiral. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo and everybody. And let's get started. Now, this, guys, I purchased off of Amazon. Uh, this is the Sin Cut Chiral. And as you can see, it's a Sin Cut Chiral folding pocket knife. Uh, made in China. And this is the black micarta version. Uh, yeah, very, very gorgeous little knife. Now, this uh, is one that I was interested in from the moment I saw it, uh, I think on B's Blades channel. And I picked it up. Uh, these are on Amazon. And that's what I'm going to give you the stats from because uh, that's where I bought it. So this black micarta version is $43.35. There's a black G10 version for $42. There's a natural G10 version for $42. And they are all uh, 9CR18 MOV on the steel. Now, what's cool about this, uh, you guys know uh, there's a lot of knives out there uh, that are designed by the guys at Ferrum Forge. And this is just another one of them. Uh, and this is a definite Ferrum Forge, beautiful, beautiful design. Um, and one of their most popular designs is uh, the, the, wow, Stinger. It's a very thin G10 knife. Uh, I had one in for a while, and they're not that expensive. Um, but, uh, you know, more of a pokey stabby uh, kind of spear point or drop point version of that one. A very thin, very lightweight, and a great, very popular knife. Well, what they did here was they came up with a sheep's foot version uh, with, in this case, micarta scales, uh, you know, with the overlapping liners. Uh, they do, it is shadow boxed ever so slightly. Black liners, black hardware, black pocket clip, black blade uh, with the black stone wash. Um, and they just hit a home run here. This is, again, $43. What a great value. This micarta is wonderful um it it's not like crazy grippy but it is grippy it's can you hear that let's see let's get it here by the mic yeah so it's definitely got some grip to it the pivot does stick up just a little bit like civivi and sin cut knives are usually known to do uh, the pocket clip does sit on the scales you do have um uh again the exposed liners that you can hook your finger on, but it is just barely shadow box. You do have uh, the um, backspacer there, uh, lanyard hole all the way back here, and a reversible tip-up clip. Again, uh, it does go almost to the tip, a little tiny bit sticking out, and it is left and right tip-up. Uh, just a couple screws here holding uh, the micarta scales on. And again, this micarta, I think, is gorgeous. Um, just beautiful. I don't know what material it is. It doesn't really matter. I guess it's uh, it's either canvas. Yeah, it's got to be canvas, uh, but it's fantastic. You do have nice chamfering on the edges. Uh, it is still slightly, um, not sharp, but you, you, know, you can feel the corner, uh, but in the hand like this, it's not a problem. Now, this is a small knife, but as you can see, it is a four-finger knife for me, and I'm not even down on that sloped part, really. Um, and then you have a nice spot to choke up. Now, it is a limited amount of space, but I can fit my finger in here without going up on the blade like you can see. By the way, the blade is this beautiful black stonewash sin cut logo, which, you know, it's a little too much, but it's okay. You got the Ferrum Forge logo over here. I just wish it was smaller. That's all. Or up here on the top or whatever. And then you also have and I'm going to look at it off camera. Yep, you do. You have the 9CR right there. 9CR18 um, MOV right there uh, on the steel. Now, this is very thin stock. I really like this. It's very reminiscent of the Stinger in that regard. You do have jimping that is right about where you are in this grip when you choke up here. There's no jimping up here, but it doesn't. I don't need it, guys. It's just great. Now, very slicey knife, and again, I, I had to, hold on, I'm going to get something here. I'm losing it. I uh, didn't leave any cardboard out, but I've got some uh, thick manila envelope here, and I've already been cutting with this. I've opened uh, packages. I mean, this is like, let's just say, five, 
sheets of paper. It's just going right through, no problem. I, w- I can't. I don't have any cardboard right here right now, but you don't need it. You can see it just. Look at that. Cleanly slices through all of that. Really, really good. So yeah, what the heck? Do something on the fly there. Be prepared next time. That's what we'll do. Now this clip. Is a typical Civivi or Sin Cut clip. It goes in and out of the pocket fine, has good retention. Uh, it, you can feel it. Now, this is a smaller knife, so you can feel that clip, again, right where we always talk about, right there. But it's a, it's thinner than a lot of clips. By the way, plenty of room for your pants to fit in there. Um, and But it's not bad. I mean, you just feel it. It's not a hot spot. Nice thin tip there, but not so thin that it's going to just bust off. Um, and nice finish again. Now, uh, well, why am I doing that? Lockup wise, <coughs> excuse me. It's about a 25 to 30 there on the lockup. Nope. No side to side, no up and down, no blade play. Hold on. <coughs> wow. Okay. There we go. We're good. Uh, so really fantastic. Now centering wise, let me look at it off camera. Yep. Dead centered. As you can see there, very good. Uh, Now, let's talk about that flipper tab. It's a typical Civivi or Sincut flipper tab. You don't have any jimping on the front. It's on the top, but that's fine. I mean, you're just going to kind of snatch at it like that, uh, like a light switch, and it's fine. You can see, can you? Yeah, you can push button this one. You really can. Uh, So that makes sense why they put the jimping where they did. Uh, really works for me. Now, if you have fatter fingers, this choil might be a little small for you. Uh, not sure about that, but you guys let me know if you have one, uh, and you have small, uh, bigger hands, man, I made an absolute mess cutting through that little bit of paper there. Uh, oh, well, so we'll leave that there and we're going to pull out, uh, two knives, one that's going to be much bigger, which is our friend, the Ontario Rat 1, and one that's going to be about the same size, I guess. Uh, let's see. This is the Rat 2. Uh, okay, it's just about a little bit bigger on the blade and the handle, tiny bit, uh, than the Rat 2. So there are your comparisons. Very, very nicely done. Um, is there something else I would compare this to? Guys, I don't know because it is, it's fairly short um, and yet it's got a nice long blade. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about those specs. Um, Let's do that. It is a 3.19 inch blade, 7.31 inches overall, 9 CR18 and it's 2.8 ounces and 0.12 on the blade thickness. Again, black stonewash there. Very, I mean, I just think it's good and thin. Oh, by the way, carry in the pocket is fantastic. It just disappears. Your hand gets down in there really well. Uh, yeah, this is a $43 winner to me. If, if you just want a nice little knife, uh, yes, to fidget with, but to carry and use and just be confident that you're going to be able to cut whatever. Uh, and, you know, uh, this, this is a great option. I really... Uh, I'm glad I picked this one up. I'm probably going to end up selling it at some point, but uh, it's going to be hard. Uh, And the only reason I do that is I always need to bring more knives in for review. Uh, But man, this is going to be hard because I really like this one. I almost like it better than I did the Stinger because of the micarta uh, and the blade shape. So there you go, guys. The Sincut Cairo. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys ever so much for all your support. If you're not subscribed to the Knives Fast channel, please check it out. We have lots of fun here. We goof off. Uh, we see a lot of good knives, and we're just a fun community. So thank you, each and every one of you, and uh, thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.